Yeah, go for it. All right, works for me. Honestly, my life was kind of boring before I found the artifact. I had a steady gig as a miner, plenty of friends at Argos, and your run-of-the-mill UC family. Wild how fast things change, isn't it? Hell, before you showed up, I'd never even had a job where I worked above ground. Makes me wonder how things would be different if I never found the artifact in the first place. Yeah, sometimes. It wasn't an exciting life, but it was mine, you know? I knew what to expect when I woke up every morning. I don't feel like that so much anymore. Universe hopping and space magic aren't exactly my areas of expertise. I'm still trying to figure out where I fit into this whole thing. You're kidding, right? It's you. Meeting you is by far and away the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Unless you've made this trip before, I'm willing to bet that I'm the only person in existence who's ever met a version of themselves from another universe. Meeting you even makes finding the artifacts seem normal by comparison. Spoken like a true starborn. You have an interesting perspective on these things, boss. Yeah, I do. My, um... Our parents are alive and well in this universe. They were merchants for years, but they've retired in New Atlantis now. My siblings and I grew up on their ship. Spacefaring must run in the family, too. All three of us ended up taking jobs in the space lanes. I'm sorry to hear things weren't the same in the universe where you came from. No hard feelings, I hope? That's a big question. If what I understand about it is right, the trip through is one way, right? No going back to your old universe once you switch? If that's the case, I wouldn't do it. I have a family here. I have friends at Argos and Constellation. I, I couldn't leave my versions of them behind. I get why you did it. Being starborn seems phenomenal, but I'd rather be a boring old human than run the risk of being forgotten or replaced in this universe. Okay, I'm game. Yes and no. You're a lot wiser than I am. Maybe going through that unity thing does that to a person. Knowing how this could all turn out must weigh on you. You're a better pilot than I am too, and better with a gun. I may have you beat as a miner though. It sounds like you didn't do it as long as I did. To tell you the truth, I am glad that there are some differences between us. It makes me feel more me, you know? More like a person and less like an echo of you. Uh, so many. I think I'm still getting used to this whole traveling with myself thing. This is kind of an obvious one, but I've been wondering what you think the biggest difference is between our universes. Damn, that's horrible. I hope that doesn't happen here. I can't imagine losing one of them. What about your family? I'm pretty close with my parents. Are you? Or were you? That's nice. It's a good thing to have in common. My folks would be happy to know that they're good parents even in other universes. Let's see what else. Ah, here's a good one. If our roles were reversed and I was the Starborn instead, would you have joined my crew? That's why I took it. I figure I'm the only person in history who's ever gotten an offer like that. Passing it up seemed like a bad call. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're the captain and I'm the crewmate. You're a way better pilot than me. If I was at the helm, the ship would be a pile of scrap on some uninhabited moon by now. I have one more question for you, if you're up for it. Do you ever miss your home universe? Ah, oh, that must be tough. I hope you don't regret it too much. If it makes things any easier, I'm really happy you're here. Hey, uh, 
Thanks a lot for letting me ask you this stuff. Getting to know you better makes this whole traveling with myself thing a lot easier for me.